<laughs> Hi, all you little mysteries. My head itches. The Ouija board story that I told you a few weeks ago, a month ago, I guess. We went to the Springdale Cemetery in 2019, and we apparently got followed home by some spirit. Well, today we went back to that spot and found we like the big tall pillar that we thought wasn't a grave or anything. It was a grave, I think. It's it's like the family marker for the fam it's like the marker for the family plot. It's not itself a grave, but but it's the marker for that whole plot of graves. Yeah. There were a bunch of graves around it, so we did some digging. It's the light what was it? Light Lightner. Lightner? It's the Lightner family. And we have the husband and father, Hervey, Hervey Lightner, right? And he was born in 1812 and he died in 1896. And then we have the wife and mother, Rachel, who was born in 1824 and died in 1879. And then gets a little complicated here. There's Rebecca H. Leitner, who was born in 1849 and 1901. And, and who did we figure out that was? The, the She's the daughter of the husband and wife yeah she died single her grave is like ne next to next to theirs but then there's also in the middle there's something that says HHL and then HHL and then when you look at the big tall pillar there's two graves on there that say Hervey H something or Lightner. yeah it says Hervey H 1854 1854 and then it says Hervey H again and then it says 1852 to 1853 so they had a kid it died after a year then they had another kid and gave it the same name and it died in less than a year and well when you look at it there's like four concrete spots but there's only two filled in two of the four kids died at the very very top it says what what year did it say like 1874 yeah i don't know what that dates for you <clears throat> and then there were other graves um like kind of in front of it and they said thomas ec wheeler 1840 to 1877 and then jane steel wheeler 1845 to 1899 and then Hervey L. Wheeler, 1873 to 1900. And we found out that um, Hervey L. Wheeler and Jane Steel Wheeler were married and had Thomas, right? What? These three? Wasn't one of them a kid that they had? Hervey is the kid. Okay, so Hervey is the kid. Thomas and Jane had Hervey. Jane is the sister of Rebecca and the daughter of Hervey and uh, Hervey and Rachel. Jane is Hervey and Rachel's daughter and the sister of Rebecca and the mother of Hervey Jr. So it's kind of confusing. There was this lone grave that said John on it. And all it said was son, husband, and father. Well, that's John Leitner and we found his. It was a little confusing because there wasn't anything on there. Well, he's buried separate from the rest of his, he's buried separate from his wife and kid. They died and were buried in a different part of the cemetery, which maybe this weekend we'll go try to find. So John Leitner is the husband of a May Carey Giles and the father of Hervey Arthur Leitner, neither of which were buried in the Leitner plot. Hervey is clearly a family name because they named two dead kids Hervey and then a grandkid got named Hervey and clearly there's another Hervey that's buried in a different plot. And the dad's name was Hervey. Yeah. Oh, the reason that the wife and child are born separately is because after Hervey died, it looks like she remarried and actually had a daughter with her new husband so married married john leitner when he died she married william charles boone and had another had another child 
Well, that's a plot twist. Literally. There's two other graves next to um, Hervey, Jane, and Thomas, and it says Samuel L. Palmer, 1792 to 1872, and then Sarah Palmer, 1816 to 1903. And we have no idea how they got there. Tyler also said that there could be, that there are some graves missing. It's, I, I say missing, but I mean buried. Like there, there's places that there should be other graves there and there's not. So they were either buried in a different part of the cemetery or, or something happened to them and they got removed. We can't really find anything. Well, Samuel L. Palmer was born in Virginia and then came here, and then Sarah Palmer was born in Pennsylvania and then came here. And they're not husband and wife because it says in her <clears throat> obituary that we, that I did find that she died single, meaning she never married, never had children. So my guess is that they were father and daughter, but then the mother's not there, so I don't know where she is. That's what we found, and We'll probably go back and try to find that one in Hillcrest, John's people. But the whole reason we did this is because when we used the Ouija board and then we took pictures from two years ago, something followed us back to the apartment and said that we were stepping on its grave, which we were at the big pillar taking pictures. And so obviously I had to recreate those pictures because it's awesome. But when we when we got back and used the Ouija board, none of those names, none. I don't remember it saying anything like that. So I think we were just talking to Zozo. How could I say that so casually and just be okay with it? But there's also a stream there and you know what they say about water that it fuels the geomagnetic energies. So maybe something did follow us back and just didn't want to say anything or the world may never know at this point. I guess that's it. So that's what we found. I was about to say something and then the thought like went out of my head. Well, that's pretty common. Run. <laughs> <laughs> it told you to run because it knew you were going to get smacked. That was pretty good timing. <laughs> On this episode of me proving that a ghost app is real. So like and subscribe if you liked that. We'll go and see. Um, we can find any other of the family members and update you in another video.